important part for you is going to be this container. Can you see what's in there? I hope it's not too blurry. So it's going to look like a whole bunch, well not to me, um, caterpillars. These aren't any old caterpillars, these are actually larvae. Um, so these will one day, hopefully, if, uh, if we take good care of them, turn into painted lady butterflies. Painted ladies uh, look a lot like monarch butterflies, some of you might know what monarch butterflies are. These guys came as, they, they probably grown a little, they, they kind of got lost in the mail, but don't worry, they had some food. Um, so you can see that they're getting kind of bigger. I'm going to try to open it and not let them escape. These ones, you don't really want to touch them. So I'm going to be very, very careful. Oh no, they're on the lid. Um, so they're crawling all over the place. So these are the larva stage. That a lot of people just say, call them caterpillars. But this is one of the life cycle stages. So after eggs, they turn to larva. I'm going to try to show you these guys here. Um, so like a caterpillar, they crawl all over the place. Uh, they have lots of teeny tiny legs. They're a little bit almost spiky. Um, oh no, we've got people escaping everywhere. If you look inside the container, that at the bottom that's brown, that's actually their food. It's usually kind of a mixture of maybe some dog food, some applesauce all ground up. And if you can see, I know this camera's not the best, the little round ones, that's actually their poop. So once I get everyone back in here, um, I'm going to clean out the poop, give them some more food, and don't worry, we will check in with them all the time to see how they're growing. And hopefully one day, they will be beautiful butterflies. Alright, so we've got lots of larvae, caterpillar stage fellas headed all over the place. You can see them crawling all over the place. So, when they got shipped, they would have been in this container, and it had food in it. Um, they've eaten most of the food, and they've left behind poop, like most animals do. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put them into their own individual little containers. So lucky for us, they sent, I'll zoom in, um, containers and this paintbrush. Like I said, we don't really want to touch them too much, so we can use the paintbrush um, to kind of help guide them if needed. So our little larva friends are definitely eager to get into their own homes. You can see they're trying to escape. Don't worry, I won't let any of them escape. I've almost got their new homes ready, and then they'll be happy in their new homes. Alright, so just like you have to take care of other pets, um, these aren't really a pet, but we have to take care of our beautiful larva to turn it into beautiful butterflies. So this is a container of food, basically. Um, usually, if you were here, I would make you smell it. Um, I will try to describe the smell for you. It smells like dog food and applesauce. So if you could imagine that, that's pretty much what it smells like. Um, what I'm going to do is put, this would be too much food, and they all have to share it um, throughout their whole life cycle. So I'm going to put a little food into each container. I don't want to touch it. Um, we've all been learning about keeping our distance and making sure to keep everyone safe. So I'll use a spoon, just like I was eating applesauce, but I don't want to eat it. I'm going to put some into the bottom of each container so that each of them will have um, some food because they will actually stay in this container um, throughout this whole larva stage of their life cycle. And some of these maybe had a little too much food in them. So you don't have to be too specific. Just put some food in each one. I will just show you one here, what its new home will look like, um, and then I'll finish the other one. So I've got some food. I can squish it down a little bit. These guys are, you can, you can probably see them. They're very active. They're good at climbing. They will be able to get through it all. I'm going to use my spoon, hopefully. Let's see. And give one of our little friends. Yeah, I just don't want to touch them. I get one. Slide it very carefully. Because they, they're they very hardy. That means, like, they're tough. 
you want to be careful. So, this is our little, whoops, uh, friend. Did you see him? He's in his new home for now. What I'm going to do is, even though he's going to stay in this home, um, just like people, uh, caterpillars eat, and then they have to go to the bathroom. So I am going to, as time goes by, uh, have to clean out his his container. Um, and one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little piece of paper towel on top. It's not going to stop him from breathing, but later when he turns into a chrysalis, which will probably take, I'm going to say, at least a week, probably even a little more, um, then I'm going to be able to transfer it to um, our flight cage, which you might have noticed in the background. If not, I will show you after. So we've got a hole in the top, he's got a happy little home, and now I just have a few more to finish up before they escape. So, bye for now.